Okay, here's what we have for dash lights. Uh, warning light came on and went off, so we know the ECU's hit a bit. And I do have this water and fuel light. Uh, replaced that fuel water separator and primed it, but we'll see. Um, you know, we don't know why that light's on at all. Um, so we'll have to figure out that out. Hopefully it'll go back off. There's no codes or anything. So, all right, so we're gonna crank it, but I'm gonna hold this over there and show you the pressure gauge down there if you can see it. I want to be able to see it as well. And as you can see, look at that, zero pressure. Alright, so zero pressure down there. And up here, you'll see we are getting oil pressure. See that? So the H-pop is up to that. Oh, we got a little bit of pressure down there. Maybe it just needs to be uh, primed. Let's see. at least 50 psi to start we got a long way to go to 50 coming up to 50 pretty quick Stopped at like 47. All right, I stopped it. I got a spider in my mouth. Stopped at 57. So, I mean 47. I don't know if 47 is enough to do it. Okay, stopped at 47. I mean, that may be enough. We'll have to go find out if 47 would do it, but I don't know. And then it's it's holding. Look at that. It's holding a bit. So that means this would be pretty, pretty hard there. Look at that. Pumping that. Not changing anything. Except it seems to be dropping more now. All right. So we're getting 47 PSI. And we need to... Got a couple things to check. So we're gonna possibly replace this uh, IPR. And I have a camshaft sensor on the way, so we'll do that. But I, we know this is getting uh, 12 volts going in there and the cycling, but we're gonna have to see what it's doing while we're cranking. Uh, maybe that's doing something strange there. We'll let this pressure bleed down before we remove the hose so we don't make a big mess because it'll it'll spray everywhere. So we'll let that drop off for a while. And then uh, we'll have to go on to the next step. So see if, if 47 PSI is okay for the fuel pressure. So it's coming, here's the suction line. Whoosh, suctions out the top, comes down here. Whoop, sucks out the top in the back there. You can see it. Camera just there you go. Comes out here, this line goes into this side of the pump, right there. And then pumps out this side, pressurizes that. So that's why your leader and test port's here, so you can check it. Um, you, you gotta, I guess this is technically the bleeder. Um, but that's good. So we got air pressure or fuel pressure. So we don't know though if we have. Um, pressure up on the uh, on the um, Huey rail which is the high pressure oil line so because that is what pressurizes the uh, that's what pressurizes the uh, injectors 
So we got to check that next. And then if that's working, then uh, we'll see why the injectors wouldn't be firing.